welcome to another video. So today I will be sharing with you how to file 1601C for our monthly remittance return of income taxes withheld on compensation. So let's start. Um, first, you have to provide your tax uh, payer's identification number or yung TIN number natin. Your RDO code, line of business, um, taxpayer's name, registered address, yung SIF code and your telephone number, and your email address. So yung email address, ito yung um, re registered email address nyo, kailangan active siya or nakaka-receive siya ng email kasi dito isi-send ng BIR yung confirmation ng sinabit mo. Okay, so list of BIR forms kung anong forms ang ipafile natin. So, let's look for 1601C. Ayan. So, quarterly. Sorry. 1601C. Ayan. 2018. Version 2018. Fill up. Okay. And then, for the month of. So, kung anong month yung file mo. So, we have to file um, September. Kasi ngayon is October. So, hindi pa tapos. So, Amended return, so kung halimbawa meron na kayong nagawa before, may nauna na kayong nagawa and meron kayong kailangan baguhin, i-click-click mo yung yes. So kung wala naman, no. Okay, so any taxes withheld kung meron kayong babayaran. So yes, kung meron, kung wala naman, no. So kung halimbawa ang um, salary ng staff nyo is um, minimum wage, then wala silang babayaran na tax. Number of sheets, 0, ATC, yan. This is automatic, nakalagay na siya dito. Um, TIN number, um, withholding agent's name, RDO, and then registered address, zip code, yung contact number, and then number 11, category of withholding agent, uh, private or government. So, kung private kayo, lagay mo, click mo yung private. Kung government, click mo yung government. So, we are private. And then, email address, so yan, automatic na rin siya. Kung ano yung finil up nyo dun sa previous page, so automatic siya na mag appear dito. And then, um, number 13, are there pays availing for tax relief under special law or international tax treaty? So, no tayo. And then, number, and total amount of compensation, so kung magkano yung salary. Okay. And then, liles natin. Yung para wala tayong babayaran. So, kung mapapansin nyo, zero. And then, click lang natin yung validate. Okay. Save. Submit. Yan. So, are you sure you want to submit? Okay. So, may mag appear dito na Terms of Service Agreement. Click mo lang yung OK. Yan. So, successful na siya. So, may marireceive kayo na email sa email address dun sa, una, dun sa nilagay nyo kanina. Then, you have to, uh, you make sure na meron kayong kopya noon. Or, um, ako, ang ginagawa namin, uh, we have a printed copy. Okay. Click mo lang yung okay. And then you have to wait for confirmation sa email. Okay, so, ito na siya. And then you have to print na. So, paano siya ipiprint? Click mo lang tong files and then print. Ayan. And then, print na siya. So, A4 ang size ng uh, pagpiprint po. Okay. So, some banks, um, kung halimbawa magbabayad kayo sa banko, usually ang inihingi nila, Dalawa or tatlo, depende yan sa banko nyo. Kung halimbawa naman online kayo magbabayad, I have separate video on how to pay online. So, sa bank, sa land bank, ang, uh, meron akong video na ginawa for paying sa land bank. And then, for GCash and other mode of payment, I will um, make another video for that. Okay, so sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. And if you have questions, um... You can comment down below kung kaya ko siyang sagutin. Please, this, this is just a um, guide lang. So, if you have questions na hindi ko kayang sagutin, you can go direct na with your accountant. Okay, so thank you for watching.